What we do here is go back, 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 back. Hey guys, welcome back to Remote Rugby. Today, we'll be needing a little more extra space than usual and our cleats for today. We're going to be doing kicking. Let's get right to it. practicing two types of kicks. First is our drop kick, which is used for our restarts when someone scores a try and we have to restart the game, or when we have to kick extra points. Before we start kicking, it's important to warm up, as many injuries can happen if you don't warm up properly, and that's no fun for anyone. So before we kick, let's get into a little bit of a warm up. So one thing I always want to do when I warm up is get my hips and lower legs, because that's where your kicking is from. So the first exercise we're going to do is start leg kicks. You can be stationary, Swing the leg, you're gonna go left to right foot, do this about five times, and then switch right to left hand. Give that a couple. Try that one. Another really important movement before we start kicking is gonna be our calf swings. These activate our hamstrings as well get a good stretch throughout the entire leg. So for these ones, put one foot out, leg straight, about 45 degrees. With your hands go, you sweep down your ankles. You wanna do both sides, do about five each leg. Give that a try. Our next exercise is gonna open up our hips because we need to open up our hips to get full momentum as well as power into our kicks. So these ones, nothing special, a simple squat. Stay straight, down, up, shoulders, over knees. You got it, give it a shot. Our next one is gonna be our lunges. This one also opens up our hips as well as activating our legs. So for this one, you wanna start in lunge position, go up, down, up, down. Another modification to this one is a moving lunge. So let's say you choose it to 10 meters, you go left knee down, right knee down, left knee down. This one is gonna be great and get maximum power as well as movement into your hips. Try that. Now we got one more exercise to do before we start to get into our kicks here. And these are gonna be another hip one because when you're kicking, a lot of power comes from the hips. So these are gonna be our open and close the gates. Many of you guys know this one, very simple leg out 45 90 degrees open it up and close it you can do about five on each side get a good stretch and really activate those hips and get ready let's get into some real kicks here the two kicks we're going to be doing is our drop kicks as well as our putts let's give that a shot when you're kicking you want to maximize your contact with the ball so to do that you have to find where the best place is to kick it on your foot for me i found that the front of the foot just at the laces like a soccer ball is the best for maximizing your power as well as your accuracy. However, rugby kicks can be determined differently by the way your foot position goes. For instance, if you have a flat foot, it's gonna be more of a straight line ball versus a, a, when your toe goes up to the sky, the ball is gonna go up more to the thigh. This also determines spin as well as which direction the ball goes in. So it's something to figure out on your own. But for now, I'll give you a couple pointers. So, let's say I wanna kick a straight ball just anywhere. You want to have your flat foot like this and you want to kick it almost down and you give that a shot. So you do this, you make sure your foot's flat, kick it, and there's not going to be a lot of air time under the ball. The ball's going to go mostly straight and this is good for getting your grubbers off as well as straight line kicks down the line. So give that one a shot. Now that we got our flat foot shots down, let's try with the tilted up foot. These ones are good for getting it over the defensive line and being able to catch run onto the ball. But for this one, what you want to do, the foot up, Put it in almost a 45 degree angle, I guess 90 degree angle. And you're gonna make sure you wanna make contact with the ball kind of just in that crease or just on the shoelace line. So for this one, you're gonna see it's gonna go up. It's gonna have a lot of backspin on it if you're doing properly. Just like that. And most of the time, it should bounce back to you or it's gonna have some crazy spin. So let's try that one more time. Notice how the spin on the ball went all the way backwards. That's because we put the little tilt in our foot, which propelled the ball backwards when we kicked it off. This one's gonna be a great kick and you're gonna have lots of fun with this one. one. The easiest kick in rugby is just a boot. It's pretty much nothing special. Just give it a big blast. Make sure you make contact with the shoelaces. Make good contact with the ball. 
and you want to make sure to hit it on the tip of the ball to get maximum power as well as height and all of that kind of stuff. So this one's super simple. You want to make sure you look at the ball, look at the contact, and you want to keep your head down after you make the contact. Go. One of the most important things when getting these kicks off is allowing the ball to hit the ground first. That's a mandatory when you're kicking any of these kind of kicks. And to make sure, you want to place the ball rather than just drop it. You can see the difference is when you place the ball, you can determine where it goes as when you bounce the ball, you're leaving it up to chance. So let's just practice placing the ball or running up to it and just placing the ball. You can give that a try, maybe try it three or four times, get comfortable with it. Now that we've mastered placing the ball, let's focus on making contact with the ball. In rugby, when you're kicking these drop kicks, you want to actually have more of a closed body. You don't want to be open because that uh, you mean you lose control when you do that. We have a closed body, more control, and actually more power. So let's just practice placing the ball and giving you a little tap with your foot. This is going to focus on eye hand coordination as well as being able to place that foot right in the right spot at the ball to make solid contact. We'll give that one a try. Our last kick we're going to work on today is a little more of a fun one. This one's going to be our grubber kick. This kick's perfect for putting it through the defensive line and getting it to someone on the wing if you're playing in the centers or you're playing closer to the ruck. So for this one, we're going to use our foot down and it's going to be more of a straight kick. So, very similar to our drop kicks, we're going to extra points or restarts. You want to place the ball rather than just drop it. So for this one, it doesn't have to touch the ground, but it's going to be very close to the ground when you make contact. Watch as my foot is straight, hits the ball, so it gives it a nice bounce and a low run. Hey guys, thanks for watching this remote rugby and I hope you enjoyed the kicking section. Let me know any questions you guys have about kicking in the comments. And I can't wait to see you guys next week for a workout. See you then.